Hello folks, welcome back. In last video we have seen how to set up Ansible environment. In this video I am going to show you how can we integrate Ansible with Jenkins. For that jump into our Jenkins console. So this is my Jenkins console. If you remember our last job was failed because whenever we are trying to create a Docker container it was saying that already container is working. To overcome those kind of problems, we are going to use Ansible as our deployment tool. So in that process, we should integrate Ansible with Jenkins. If you remember, we have enabled SSH connections between Jenkins and Docker host. Same thing we should do for Ansible as well. For that, go to Manage Jenkins, Configure System. And if you scroll down, there is an option called Publish over SSH. If you remember, we have added Docker host. Similar way, we need to add one more that is SSH servers so that Jenkins can SSH to Ansible system and copy the var file. Here, SSH server name, I am naming it as a Ansible server. Host name, let me get the IP address of Ansible system. This is our Ansible system. Clear the screen. Increase the font size, IP ADDR, get the IP address of Ansible system, username ANS admin and uh, advanced use password authentication under password authentication ANS admin user password you should provide and test the connection. Connection is success because we have enabled password authentication. Apply save. That's it. Now what we need to do is we need to create new Jenkins job. That Jenkins job whenever I run, Jenkins can able to copy artifacts onto target environment. So let's do that one. Create new item. I, I have created a document for this job. Even our previous jobs also have created documentation. So you can refer to those documents if you have any issues. Those are available under Simple DevOps project. We have Jenkins jobs. So here list of the jobs, whatever we are using those jobs as well as Docker files and Ansible YAML files are available, which we are going to use from now. So I will continue to update this folder so that you can get all the jobs information. So we are going to do deploy on container using Ansible. This is the one we are doing. You can follow this document even to set it up. Okay. So for now, let me name it as a deploy on container using Ansible and copy it from deploy on container okay this is our last job from here i'm going to copy all the definitions okay there is typo deploy on container using ansible repository we don't change nothing to change here build also fine here we need to change ansible server instead of docker host so that var file also same target uh, sorry remove prefix is same and remote directory this time instead of using home directory of user i will create a separate directory and will use that directory as our workspace so let's go to our ansible system create a directory under opt cd slash opt sudo mkdar docker i'm creating a directory called docker Next thing is I'm going to give full access to ANS admin on this Docker directory for that sudo chown change the ownership to ANS admin ANS admin on slash opt Docker because whenever we use sudo it creates as a root user now ls minus l slash opt you can see Docker directory is there and it's owned by ans admin so that if we are copying something from the jenkins it doesn't give permission issues so go inside to docker nothing is there so we are going to use this directory to store our artifacts 
So instead of uh, dot, I'm going to use slash opt docker, but uh, here it won't take special character. So you should provide double slash. Next, we are not going to execute anything right now. We'll continue to modify this job for time being. Just we'll test this job, whether it can able to copy artifacts onto Ansible system or not. Let's build the job. Once build is successful, we could able to see the var file over here. So far, nothing is there. Let's wait until build is completed. Okay, it's success. I'm going to do ls minus l. Yes, var file is there. All right, it's working as expected. Now we should create a Docker image which can contain this web app dot var file as well. To create that one, we should have a Docker file. In next video, I'm going to show you how can we do that one. Until then, bye. See you there.